Ever wondered how to effectively debug your code? Welcome to the fascinating world of debugging, the unsung hero of the software development process. Debugging is the art of identifying, isolating and fixing those pesky defects that often pop up in our code. It's like being a detective, searching for clues, following leads, and finally, solving the mystery of why the code isn't behaving as expected. The importance of this practice can't be overstated. Debugging not only ensures code quality and software reliability, but it also reduces development time significantly. Throughout this video, we'll explore various debugging practices, from understanding the problem at hand, using version control, and leveraging debugging tools, to the strategic placement of breakpoints the divide and conquer method, and much more. Each of these practices has its own role to play in making debugging a systematic and efficient process. Embarking on this journey will transform your debugging skills and make you a more efficient developer. The first step in effective debugging is understanding the problem at hand. Before you start sifting through lines of code, it's crucial to grasp the issue reported fully. Take a moment to reproduce the problem, if possible. This will give you a better understanding of its scope and impact. Now, let's talk about version control. Think of it as a failsafe for your code base. It's like a time machine that allows you to track changes and, if necessary, revert to a previous version. This can be incredibly useful when you're trying to identify when a particular issue was introduced into your code. Version control systems like Git are an integral part of any developer's toolkit. They provide a safety net and chronology, enabling you to go back in time and pinpoint when things took a turn for the worse. So always try to reproduce the issue and ensure your code base is under version control. Now that we have a firm grip on our problem, it's time to arm ourselves with the right tools. Debugging tools provided by your development environment or integrated development environment, IDE, are your best friends in this process. These tools include breakpoints, watch lists, variable inspection and stack traces. Breakpoints are particularly potent. They allow you to pause execution of your code right at the point where you suspect the issue may be hiding. By doing so, you can inspect variables and the overall state of your program at that particular moment. Setting breakpoints strategically can be an art in itself. Aim for spots in your code that are closely related to the problem at hand. Breakpoints can be set at the start of a problematic function or right before a critical calculation or operation. Familiarizing yourself with these tools and utilizing breakpoints can dramatically increase your debugging efficiency. When faced with a complex issue, breaking it down can make it more manageable. This is the essence of the divide and conquer strategy in debugging. When you're dealing with a perplexing bug, it's like trying to solve a massive jigsaw puzzle. But what if you could simplify that puzzle? That's where divide and conquer comes in. Imagine breaking down your problem into smaller, more digestible parts. Each part becomes a mini puzzle of its own, and solving each one can get you closer to understanding the bigger picture. By isolating and testing each part, you can more effectively zero in on the root cause of the problem. You're not just tackling the issue head on, you're strategically dissecting it piece by piece. This approach can save you time and frustration by avoiding a wild goose chase in your code. It's all about efficiency and precision. So, remember, a big problem is just a collection of smaller issues that can be solved individually. Moving on, let's focus on our data and peers. In the debugging process, the data you're working with is your compass guiding you through the code. It's important to double-check that input data matches your expectations. If the inputs are off, the outputs won't make sense, leading you on a wild goose chase. Similarly, verify that your output data is being generated as expected. If it's not, you've found your bug, or at least a part of it. Now, let's turn to the invaluable practice of code reviews. Imagine having a fresh pair of eyes, unburdened by the hours you've spent staring at the same lines of code. That's what your peers bring to the table. They can spot issues, suggest improvements, and provide different perspectives on the problem. Remember, debugging isn't a solitary journey. It's a collaborative effort that benefits from diverse insights. Never underestimate the power of a second pair of eyes or the clarity that comes from examining your data. Next, we focus on the power of assertions, incremental changes, and analyzing logs. Let's start with assertions. Assertions are our code's safety net, our built-in alarm system. They validate our assumptions during runtime, alerting us when something unexpected happens. Imagine you're developing a function that only processes positive integers. 
You can insert an assertion at the start of this function to check if the input is indeed positive. If it's not, the assertion will fail and you'll be notified. This way you're not left scratching your head when your function behaves strangely because it received an unexpected input. Moving on, let's talk about incremental changes and testing. When debugging, it's easy to fall into the trap of making extensive changes all at once, hoping to solve the issue in one fell swoop. However, this often complicates matters. Instead, adopt a divide and conquer approach. Make small changes to your code and test them incrementally. This way, you maintain control over your debugging process and it becomes easier to pinpoint where things are going wrong. Last, but certainly not least, are logs. Logs are like the black box of an airplane. They record the events leading up to an issue. Your logs can include error messages, stack traces, or even information you've chosen to record using print statements. Reviewing these logs can provide valuable insights into the nature and location of the problem. They can show you the sequence of events that led to the issue, helping you piece together the puzzle. Understanding how to read and analyze logs, alongside using assertions and incremental testing, empowers you to steer the debugging process rather than letting it overwhelm you. You'll be able to detect issues early, isolate changes effectively, and gain a comprehensive understanding of the problem at hand. These practices help to maintain control during the debugging process and provide valuable insights into the problem. Your environment and documentation are your allies in this journey. A well-organized development environment is a cornerstone for effective debugging. It's not just about having the right tools, libraries and resources, but also about knowing how to use them effectively. A well-set environment can streamline the debugging process, reducing the time taken to identify and resolve issues. But an environment isn't all you need. Documentation is equally important. Keeping a record of your debugging process, the steps you've taken, your observations and your findings can be invaluable. Not only does it help you keep track of your own progress and thought process, but it also becomes a vital resource for others who might encounter similar issues in the future. It might seem like a tedious task at the moment, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Remember, your workspace and record-keeping habits can significantly influence your debugging experience. Finally, let's discuss the aftermath of debugging and the importance of continuous learning. Once the issue has been identified and fixed, the task doesn't end there. It's crucial to perform regression testing. This is the process of testing changes to computer programs to make sure that the older programming still works with the new changes. You're essentially confirming that the fix you've implemented hasn't inadvertently introduced a new bug or caused a regression. It's like making sure that fixing a leak in one pipe hasn't caused another to burst. Regression testing can be a meticulous process, especially for large-scale applications. Automated testing tools can be a big help here, running a suite of tests to check that everything still functions as expected. But remember, no tool can replace the keen eye of a developer. It's your understanding of the code base that will ultimately ensure the integrity of the software. Now let's move on to continuous learning. Debugging is like solving a puzzle, and each puzzle solved is a lesson learned. As software developers, we're in a constant state of learning and improving, and debugging is no exception to this. Whether it's understanding new debugging tools, mastering the art of setting strategic breakpoints, or simply developing a sixth sense for where a bug might be lurking, every debugging experience is an opportunity to grow. Seek out new information, attend workshops, keep up to date with the latest techniques and practices. The world of software development is ever-evolving, and so should we be. Remember, even the most seasoned developers find themselves stumped by a particularly elusive bug. Don't be disheartened when you hit a roadblock. Instead, see it as a chance to learn something new, to improve your debugging skills and to become a better developer. By adopting these practices, you can become a more efficient and effective debugger, always ready to tackle the next challenge.